Hey guys, uh, we are just uh, going to use a tiny PCB. I'm not going to go through the initial uh, profile checking. I'm just going to sling this board in there and uh, try and reflow a small 8 pin uh, surface mount chip. Unfortunately, all my solder paste is solid because I haven't done any reworks uh, for absolutely ages. So, what I've done is just apply some. Uh, solder to the pads and I've just rested the IC on top and uh, hopefully that will go molten and uh, drag the IC into position but we'll uh, we'll see but well, I just wanted to try this uh, so we're going to use the basic uh, you know the default um, profile I'm trying to get a picture of this and we're just going to run it so cycle start So what have we got? Um, well, we're ramping up. Heat 75%. Oh, that's all changing. Fan at 35%. Yeah. So the internal thermocouple is uh, the 44. I want to get a decent angle here, 49. Uh, that is the external one on the right. Uh, this one here, if I touch that with my fingers, you'll see it jump up. So ideally that should have been captain taped to the board so you can fine tune the profiles. But I just wanted to do something with this and get it up to temperature. So we're ramping up. <clears throat> I've had a quick flick through the menus, all of the uh, profiles are very, very easy to edit uh, so far. Yeah, very, uh, very pleased with this. You can see the LEDs flashing away there. I think there was a dwell time at about 120 or 130. So hopefully we'll see that appear on the display in a minute. Just noticed at the top right there you've got the uh, time in seconds. We're getting near that soak temperature okay so we're now switched over to soak the uh, the large fan at the back is uh, is just set at the correct speed just to allow some uh, air movement inside the drawer you can adjust that, obviously you don't want to adjust it too high because you'll be dragging in cooling air which is not what you want but you want it just at the right speed to allow the hot air to move around evenly and heat the PCB evenly. So that's soaked and now it's ramping up again. bottom figure looks like it's the uh, degrees centigrade per second that it's uh, rump ramping up at. And it's changing very quickly, it uh, seems to be between 1 and 2.
I think this is set at uh, 220. Okay, so we're now at the peak. So the internal thermocouple has reached that 220 and now it's ramping down. The fan at the back has uh, built up in power. You can see the fan percentage is uh, up and down all over the place now. As that just monitors the cool down temperature. I can feel the heat being blown out the bottom now from that fan. Yeah, you can see the ramp down is a couple of degrees per second. It's been so long since I used the original uh, you know, version that I can't remember what the display showed. But I don't think it showed all of this. So we're ramping down, now it says cooling down, fan speed 100%. I did say I was going to uh, silicon all of the connections in place, but so I haven't done that as yet. Just in case there's any issues, what I'll do is uh, we'll use this and uh, you know, in a few weeks we'll just open it up, check the connections for any looseness and, uh, and then perhaps uh, just silicon them in, uh, in place. I assume this cooling fan is going to carry on running until it brings the uh, temperature down to ambient perhaps, oh, I'm not sure, so we'll see. Unfortunately this is going to go over the nine minutes so this will go into a second clip I'm afraid, still haven't worked out how to increase the clip time on this uh, uh, this camera and obviously we're not doing this in 4k there will be little point so yeah that's going to switch over to the second clip at any second so uh, yeah have a look at the second clip for the results hopefully that IC has reflowed and sunk into place, but we'll have to get some uh, some uh, paste, some new paste to try this properly. Display is very much easier than this camera's. Uh, it's very much easier to read than the uh, camera's showing. Ah, oh, so that looked like it went down to about uh, 50 degrees, and uh, and then stopped. So yeah, that's absolutely fine. Let's pull out this drawer. Handle's a little warm. The fluff on the uh, I see. Let's see how close we can get. And that looks like that has uh, reflowed that perfectly, despite me having to uh, bodge it with just some solder on the uh, on the pads and just resting the IC on top. I'm just going to take that out with some 
uh, pliers or something, so just bear with me a second. Just have a see so if we can get this focus close up. Yeah, and that's reflowed that uh, perfectly, I think. Uh, let me if I can zoom in actually and get it in focus. Yeah, hopefully you can just about see that. Yeah, it's perfect. So um, yeah, no uh, issues there. Obviously, you would um, if you were going to do a lot of these, you would. Pop that thermocouple onto the um, onto the circuit board, get it capped and taped in place near to the piece you're going to be working on, and uh, you know adjust the profile accordingly. Um, but yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, impressed with that. And uh, yeah, catch you later.